Hello my soccer universe and let's talk about the mess that was the Champions League draw today. I think the first lesson is I think whatever shitty Monday you had today, I think someone had a much shittier Monday day <laughs> than most of us. Let's say, I mean, I don't want to say uh, messing up a draw, but you know, it was pretty, pretty shitty from the get go. Um, and in case you haven't heard, yeah, the draw had to be retaken. <laughs> And uh, what's even funnier is I saw it right at the moment that it was happening uh, for the second matchup. I saw he took the wrong ball. Let's see if the, let let let's hope it doesn't come out wrong. And then exactly the wrong thing came out. So yeah, uh, yeah, it, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Now before we go into uh, that, that story and then talk about the draw the implication of the proper draw and and the implica implications, um, I decided to wear Chelsea. Chelsea are in both draws would have been the big winner. Uh, to to be fair, I mean Chelsea is the luckiest team in Europe this Monday morning uh, to get twice Lille when you could have gotten PSG or Real Madrid quite likely. That's a big let off. That's a big let, 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 let off. And I mean, even Ajax, I think, is an easier opponent than, uh, is not an easier opponent than Lille. Let's put it that way. So, yeah, so 12, 12 o'clock, it was the one draw that I actually really watched live and the redraw, of course, as well. The rest I actually just um, saw then later on. <laughs> that was all set. We had a draw, and whoo, here is the first draw. And it would have been so nice, I thought Real Madrid against, against Befica, oh, a classic duel. Uh, then, I mean, there were not too many standard ties. I mean, Bayern Munich against Atletico was one that I actually was about to look forward to. Was not too, not too happy with Ajax against Inter, so yeah, maybe uh, there was a reason for a redo. And then at the bottom, we get Manchester United against PSG, the big rematch that we wanted to all kind of see again. Maybe not, maybe, maybe. Uh, but uh, there were plenty of storylines, so there were three uh, that came out. The problem was that for when VRL was drawn out, as I said, the guy who, uh, it was the general second, what, what, whatever, uh, pulled, they had all the pots with the group winners. And I think, except for Real Madrid, he pulled out every single group winner. And I, and, 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 and I, and I was actually looking that he will not now, uh, that he will now not get the um, uh, other teams, but took, 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 took them all. And then, of course, they pull Arshavin, who in an Austrian article was kind of made the, the, the he who made the error. He had nothing to do. The only thing he had to do is hold up. And fortunately, he held up Manchester United, which at this moment said there must have been something wrong. There must have been something wrong uh, in the whole procedure. And so I I was kind of smiling at that they take Manchester United. Oh, this cannot happen. This cannot happen. Let's take the next one. It was, was, was Manchester City, which to me is anyway. I mean, uh, United City. Okay, you go to Manchester. What I didn't realize at first is that when Atletico Madrid came out in the next one, they had also Liverpool in the pot. And the problem is that I think they had only so they had only seven balls in there, like for many matches. So they wasted already one ball on Manchester United. They couldn't take it pulled in. So at that point, the chances were not fair anymore. And same thing goes for Liverpool, who then was later drawn. And that kind of made the draw in a way invalid. And so you had to go da 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 da. Now I was really wondering uh what was what was happening. Uh I you know. I knew that they have to do something with a computer system because I know, of course, it would be perfect if the guy who pulls out the balls uh, is kind of aware which teams he should or should not take. Maybe, you know, with but by me there was a light indication or whatever that was wrong and he just went by that. Too bad. I also thought that, uh, and now just on a draw procedure itself, why when you have taken out the uh, when a team is drawn, they have the pot like uh, Real Madrid was drawn first. Why don't you remove that pot immediately? There's no need to keep it there and, 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 and more confuse it any further. They did it previously. Now uh, this time around, that's a nice so balls and whatever. I don't know, but this was one thing that came immediately to mind. So this draw that you see here, scrapped. Let's move on to the real draw and the first that came out was then uh, Salzburg against Bayern Munich. 
Salzburg had previously drawn Liverpool, so Bayern or Liverpool really doesn't really matter. Uh, choose your poison. Uh, it's more of a derby in a way, but I think Bayern will do this rather easily. Then Manchester City against Sporting. Yeah, Villarreal, Sporting, uneasy opponent, but still City, highly favored, should go through that. Then Ajax instead of Inter get Benfica. And I remember that when Ajax had a deep run, they also played Benfica in the group stage. Those were two excellent games. I think both were won by Ajax, I think. But those were two really, really entertaining games. And I'm thinking this is a great matchup between two very historic sides in Europe. Absolutely love that one. Uh, that is one I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh, I said already, Lille against Chelsea. Chelsea twice lucky to get Lille. The potentially weakest opponent in from uh, the uh, potential opponents that they could, could get. Chelsea, you see it. I mean, big winners and we'll see it in a little bit as well. Then Atletico Madrid Manchester has to face Manchester United, not Bayern. And I don't know. Manchester United probably, I don't, I don't know if they would rather face Atletico or PSG. It's a so-and-so draw. I think Atletico probably is happier with United. That I'm pretty sure. But yeah, would, uh, is definitely one of the standard ties there that uh, both teams, one is kind of taking the curve, the other one has potential. So it will be interesting to see, see that one. Juve. Also got luck, l lucky again. Juve Villarreal before that sporting, so kind of they switched the opponents with Manchester City, which I think is pretty. Yeah, so I still think that Juve will have a tough time because Villarreal just eliminated Atalanta. Atalanta is a better team than Juve, so this is not a given for Juve. I actually would say Villarreal is favored here. And then another big one, Liverpool against Inter. I think that will be interesting, um, although I think Liverpool will take Inter to the sword a little bit. However, not as much as they did Milan. I think Inter probably can play a little bit better against Liverpool, but it's not an easy draw overall, gotta say. And then we get the big one at, the, at last, Real Madrid against PSG. Boom! We already knew that PSG and Real Madrid are likely, uh, there is a quite a good chance that they're drawing against each other. Um, that is an even matchup. At the moment, my model favors PSG. I actually would at this moment favor Real Madrid, but I think those two teams play very well against each other. And I want to see Sergio Ramos return to Madrid. That absolutely I want to see. So this is a big one. And I think that could uh, go very well a long way. Uh, I mean, all the storylines ever longer not uh, will not have much impact on the Champions League, but it will tell us a lot about PSG because that will be the second proper opponent that they're playing. So that is the one that I think everyone's looking out for. Definitely. So yeah. If we look now at the winners and losers of the draw, I said it. Chelsea, I mean, their chances and I also sort of by the, uh, how, what the chance change, the percentage increase in winning the Champions League. Chelsea increased by 26%, VR by 16 Bayern Munich also 13%. So those are all teams that are kind of happy with, with the draw. I'm surprised that PSG is so high up there and Juve and Ajax not so much, but you know. We also see the losers, Real Madrid, yeah, you didn't want to uh, play PSG for sure. Lille and Salzburg, of course, that came coming from the same, same group, got relatively tough opponents. As for the overall chances of winning, Manchester City is there. Bayern Munich, I think in my last video I had them in second spot, but then I did another one, then suddenly Liverpool, Liverpool so Liverpool and Bayern were rather close, not Bayern, is back in second spot. Chelsea, thanks to the good draw, you see 71% chance of advancing to quarter final. Uh are now in third spot because Liverpool against Inter is only 61% chance. So uh, that, that, that dampened Liverpool a little bit. Um, PSG against Real Madrid, as I said, slightly favored. Ajax actually favor, uh, are, and I would agree, they favored over Benfica as a Juve or Villarreal. All makes sense. And you see that that even matchup between Atletico and United. So that was it from me for the Champions League draw. Uh, what do you think about the draw? Should it have, should it have been uh, retaken? Because in a way we got a valid draw, but I think it was right to retake it, to, you know, get rid of any uh, misgivings that someone might have. Although they would have, I mean, I didn't now do the, the difference in chances before, uh, uh, you know, between the first draw and the proper draw, the second draw. But yeah, you can pretty much uh, make them out as well. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more, drop a line below and I will talk to you soon. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever anything happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!